Thank you, everyone. That went better than we rehearsed it. How many times did we rehearse that one? Ten. None. Nailed it. <laughs> That's fun. I, I know Tamara already enjoyed you. Already uh, introduced these guys, but I, I got to tell you why honor and pleasure is. These are four of my most favorite musicians ever. And I've known some of them a long time. Uh, the very young Xavier Breaker I've just met recently. Let's hear it for him on drums. Yeah. On saxophone, I've known Mace like you were in high school? No. Okay. <laughs> I moved here when I was 26. Uh, that, that was what, 30 years ago? Uh, Five. Got gotcha. you. It's, it, it's amazing what a great musician he is. This is Mace Hibbert. Uh, from the jazz capital of the world, Columbia, South Carolina, Mark Rapp. And Mark drove all the way from Columbia today for this. And He's one of the most productive and caring musicians I know. He involves everyone in all of his projects, and I'm honored you're here, brother. Thank you so much. And Kevin Smith plays bass. No, seriously, he is amazing. I, and I, met, I did meet you, you were in high school at Governor's Honors, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, that, that was only a few years ago. Yeah, and, and he's, he's one of the best bass players in the world. He doesn't quite know that, thank goodness. Um, we, we're doing something unusual tonight. I, I picked a project for us. Blue Note record label is pretty much the most historically significant label of the last 60 years, probably. I'm leaving out the earlier ones, but uh, the number of like groundbreaking, influential albums from that is huge. And we all know all the songs mostly, and I decided we just pick, play only songs made famous on the Blue Note label. Um, that first song, Witch Hunt, is from Wayne Shorter's album, Speak No Evil. Uh, so many musicians learn every song that's on the album. It's, it's like, the, the album is like a lesson in great music. Uh, we're gonna play a song now written by Lee Morgan. It's, it's from his record, Cornbread. And it features Herbie Hancock, very young on this record. And what's remarkable is that Herbie plays an introduction for this thing that is more famous than the whole song. <laughs> Just Herbie, I, I can't do that. I'm gonna play some Kevin stuff, but I, I love this song so much. This is Lee Morgan's Siora.
You guys like the blues? You guys like the blues? Yeah, we're not gonna play any. No, ac actually, um, one of my favorite blues musicians ever is Kevin Smith. He embodies it like you wouldn't believe. We're gonna play the title track from an Art Blakey record that everyone knows called Monin. And uh, the song was written by the pianist Bobby Timmons. This is that song, and we're gonna feature Mr. Smith on this. Here we go.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>
That was Horace Silver's piece. We've got time for one more song. Before we do, let's hear from Mark Rapp. Kevin Smith on bass. Mace Hibbard with a friend sang next to him. Xavier Breaker on drums. It's his first time at the Velvet Note. Uh, we're we're going to end with a Lee Morgan song that uh, influenced a hundred tunes the next year, written just like it. Uh, this is the title track from The Sidewinder.
Rep. Mays Hibbert, Kevin Smith, Xavier Breaker. My name is Kevin Bales. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you. Uh, we will be back for another set in about five jazz minutes. I don't know if it's sold out or not. If it's not, you're welcome to stay. Hey, thank every one of you for coming. Hope you had a great time. We did. See you again soon.
here. What's your name? Tom? Sam. Sam, I think it is absolutely amazing that you're here and it's such a blessing because you're about to experience some of the best jazz in all of the world. We're so lucky here in Fulton County to be able to experience this amazing place, the Velvet Room. And on behalf of Tamara, um, who is not here this evening, and I'm, I'm delighted to announce, we are going to welcome Kevin Bales and his quintet. So ladies and gentlemen, can we do this together as a team? One, two, three, welcome Kevin Bales Quintet! <laughs>
Musicians. Um, these are four of my most favorite musicians on the planet. I'm not just saying that. I'm honored they came here. Some of them came from out of town. Some of them came from out of space. Who knows? Some of us came out of Gwinnett. <laughs> Which is why I meant. Same, same. same thing. On, on saxophone, uh, my dear friend, I've known you a long time. This is Mr. Mace Hibbert. Um, you might see him on the road with Lyle Lovett. Hey. And, and he has a Grammy. <laughs> South Carolina is very serious about the arts, and um, one of their highest awards is the Ambassador for Jazz for the state of South Carolina. Mr. Mark Rapp has won that. And... Um, his community work and giving back to people is huge, only eclipsed by how great he plays the trumpet. Thank you, Mark. One more time, please. On um, drums, we have the very young man. This is his first time playing at the Velvet Note. He's from Columbia, South Carolina. Um, he's played with every, there you go. I like it. It's one of the good things from the pin about the pandemic is it brought him back home to this area. Mr. Xavier Breaker. He is my favorite young drummer right now. Thank you for driving in, man. And on bass is Kevin Smith. Actually, Kevin Smith is, is, is my favorite bass player. He is the most soulful around and he's he's shy about it that's true and he also has a grammy okay i'm not going to talk this much between other songs but i have to tell you a little story when i was six and seven my father started traveling all the time for work at least he said for work <laughs> but he would come home every week and he would bring me home an lp vinyl record I'm talking about six and seven. The first one he brought home was the soundtrack to West Side Story. Second one was uh, the Batman soundtrack from the television show, you know, Kapow, Batman, right? Third one was Peter and the Wolf, narr narrated by uh, some actor I've never heard of who shouldn't have been narrating it. But the fourth record is the only jazz record he ever bought for me. I'm, I'm assuming he bought it because of the title. Um, before I said it, you have to imagine me listening to West Side Story and Peter and the Wolf and acting out the entire thing <laughs> in, in my living room. I thought they were actually sharks and actual jets. I did not <laughs> know what was going on. But he, he brought this jazz record home. It's by, it's by Horace Silver. And the title, I think that's why he brought it. The title is called Song for My Father. Um, it's a great song. It's probably Horace's most favorite song. It's the title track of this Blue Note record. Um, my dad was one of a kind. He was a race car driver, satellite repairman, many other things. The last eight years of his life, he was a professional Santa Claus, which he was very serious about. I wish he was here to hear this, play this song for him. Um, here we go. Thanks for listening.
Xavier Breaker on the drums. We let the young man steal the show. So, so, so I didn't explain the premise of tonight's show, which is about the Blue Note record label. It's the most important and influential jazz label of the last 60 years, at least. And everyone here knows all the same records, beginning to end. And I just wanted to do songs made famous on that label that we all knew. We could come up here. We practiced for about 10 minutes because we all know the music. And uh, we're playing songs from many different records. The, the first one we play tonight, I was there, <laughs> was, was the title track from John Coltrane's 1958 record, Blue Train. Uh, the song we just played, Song for My Father by Horace Silver. This next one is by the great saxophonist Hank Mobley. It's probably his most famous record. And this song is called Soul Station. I need my glasses for this. How slow is it going? One, two, one, two, three.
This next song is called Totem Pole.
Let's hear it for Xavier Breaker on the drum. Yeah. Kevin Smith on the bass. Yeah. Uh, from the jazz capital of the world, that's Waco, Texas, Mace Hibbert. From Columbia, South Carolina, Mark Rapp. Uh, we got one more song left. This is um, by Herbie Hancock. With an enigmatic title. I have no idea what it means, but it's called The One Finger Snap. Kevin is too humble to, uh, to let y'all know. He's got some CDs up here. Uh, one of their CDs is a wonderful project on, on Mr. Rogers. Uh, it's, it's an amazing, amazing CD. So at any rate, everyone needs to pick up a CD. I don't play on them. <laughs> Thank you. That's why they're so good. It's on Apple Music. Oh, flag on the flag. All that shit I've been doing.
here again for Xavier Breaker. <laughs> Kevin Smith on bass. <laughs> Mace Waco Hibbert on saxophone. <laughs> Mark Ambassador Rap on trumpet. We're gonna play a very brief version of this last song. This is called The Sidewinder. Thank you, everyone. Thank you everyone. Travel home safely.